Hi everyone! Oh my gosh! Thank you so much for coming back for another video. A chance for us to talk about art. Me, Adrian Lee, the Wandering Art Historian. Thanks so much for coming back. Uh, what have we been talking about? Art snacks. Sometimes you don't you don't want the whole lecture. You just want a few facts, right? And you just want a taste. That's what this whole web series is about. So what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about this very amazing self-portrait by the artist Paula Motorson Becker, okay? Did you know that this self-portrait is the first ever of its kind and that the artist wasn't even pregnant when she painted it. Yeah, so obviously a lot to unpack there. Let's get started. Paula was a German painter who lived 1876 to 1907. She was this young woman who was like, hey, I'm hearing about all kinds of new artwork coming out of Paris, France. You know, this Gauguin guy and this Van Gogh guy and these modern artists. So she left everything behind, her hometown, her family, her husband, and she moved to Paris. She wanted to immerse herself in this new avant-garde way of painting, but she was flat broke most of the time. So what does an artist do when they're flat broke and they can't afford to hire a model? They become the model. So what makes this particular self-portrait of Paula painting herself so special is that it's it's the first ever female nude painted by a woman ever it's amazing and it's so hard to wrap your brain around that concept because you're like this was painted in 1906 were there really no other self-portraits by women painting themselves nude prior to this time, it's almost unfathomable. She takes that a, a step further by painting herself pregnant. She was not pregnant at the time, but what an interesting choice because it almost acts as like a metaphor or an allegory for her pursuit of creativity and her dedication to her artwork, almost as if she is pregnant with creativity and that she's hoping to produce a child of, 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 a, of a career or, or of a artistic output or something like that, which I think is kind of cool, pretty cool. Now, sadly, Paula did reunite with her husband. They did have a child in the uh, November of 1907, but what is, tragic about all of this is that she died 19 days after giving birth. I think she was of only 31 years of age. So we don't have a lot of artwork from Paula, but the artwork that we do have from her is a gift. And I challenge you, I strongly encourage you to keep researching the work of this phenomenal artist and add her to your repertoire of just a favorite women artists because she is an an incredible delight. Okay. Oh, oh, what a what a wonderful morsel of art historical goodness to savor. Ah, oh, I love it. Thank you for joining me for Art Snacks. Um, for more wonderful art historical content, please check out my blog, thewanderingarthistorian.wordpress.com. Like this video if you liked it. Comment on this video if you have something to say. Share this video if you think other people should see it. And subscribe to the Wandering Art Historian YouTube channel for more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching. I love our time together. My name is Adrian Lee. You know me as the Wandering Art Historian. I'll see you next time. Bye.